So we're just running some tests on this uh, Dodge Ram 3500 diesel 5.9. It's a 1995 and it has some issues with um, charging of the battery. Uh, we thought it was the alternator. We were told it was the alternator and uh, we got that tested up at, you know, uh, O'Reilly's. They said it was still good. So we took back the other alternator to the shop, the new one, and trying to work out now what's causing this high charge from coming out of it of 25 volts, approximately 25 volts. We're hoping it's not the PCM or the ECU, sorry. But um, we're going to try and get to the bottom of that right now. So what's your plan? We're going to start it first and then we're going to mm -hmm. take the test light to the back of this alternator. And there's a green wire here. This green wire right here is ground. This is from the PCM. It's for full fielding. And then we have a dark blue one here, this one. And both of these wires go to the back of the alternator where there's two little studs. And I'm gonna try to f figure out which stud is the green one, which is grounding. And then I'm gonna disconnect it, because that's full fielding from the PCM. I'm gonna disconnect it, I'm gonna run it, and I'm gonna see if the alternator still has that high output of 25 volts. If it doesn't when I disconnect it, then I know it's coming from the PCM. The PCM is bad. If it, um, if I disconnect it and it still does it, then we know it's the alternator. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go. <laughs> So what we found out was the bottom stud has power on it. So I hooked the test light up to ground, right? And I touched the bottom stud and my test light lit. So that told me, this is with the, with the truck running of course, that told me that that is the blue wire. Uh, the blue wire is the one that has 12 volts on it. So then I switched this to battery positive and I touched the top post while it was running, the top little post. And it lit up, so that tells me that's the ground because the green wire is the ground, okay? And how did, how did I know which one was power and which one was ground as far as wires go? I read about it on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I also tested it. I tested it for voltage and I tested it with a test light to see what was what. Okay, so let's see here. So what's next? Next is to disconnect the green wire and then we're gonna retest for voltage. That way we'll get a more kind of better idea about the charging system. Do we have an internal short in the alternator or do we have a bad PCM? All right, so short and simple. We uh, unhooked the top uh, connection to the little stud on top. And then we reconnected the bottom uh, connector to the little stud. We put a piece of rubber in between the top one so that because we don't want any connection on there. Let's 
see. I can see that on the screen. Okay, well you might want to say that again. That was probably confusing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it again. Let me tighten this first. Okay. okay. So what we did, short and sweet. We have two little studs on the back of the alternator. This is for a Dodge Ram. We took the top connector off of the top stud and we left the bottom one on. We, want, we just want to test to see if this alternator still has an output of 25 volts when we start it. If it does, then we know we have an internal short in the alternator. If it doesn't, then we know the problem is, uh, you know, the regulation from the PCM, the voltage regulation from the PCM. So it's in neutral. It's still touching it. Oh, it is? Yep, I tested it with the test light. It's still grounding. Oh, okay, so it should not be grounding. Really? So what, we need another piece of rubber to go in there? Well. Are you sure it's grounding? It definitely it's grounding. Well, that thing naturally grounds. It does naturally ground, but I just want to make sure that we're not touching. You know what I mean? Okay. I want to be absolutely sure. Grab that ratchet down underneath the truck if you can. Okay. Okay. All right, we're just going to test this again. We just want to make sure that the reading is correct. We've disconnected the PCM from the alternator. And we have some rubber separating. So they're not touching at all. Okay. What? Hold on. It's 
BCM. Hold on, what about now? Nope, it's BCM. Really? It must have been touching. Wow. Yep, I told you. Good thing you double checked it. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be sending the computer off to some place on eBay. Yep. Hopefully they can fix it for us, eh? No Otherwise choice. we're going to have to track down a used one somewhere. Okay, alright. So anything you want to say before I close this off? Uh, no. Other than it sucks. second check it and triple check it. <laughs> just be for sure. But, yeah, okay. That's all we can do. Yeah. <laughs>